Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Finally, with the long awaited part three of my CD collection guys, yeah. Um, a little series if you like that I've been doing outside of the uh, the video game thing. Um, yeah, it was just nice to have a little change up guys. Obviously, um, the other two parts were influenced by um, some other YouTubers like the Retro Bear. Um, where they did their uh, music collection. Um, I only collect CDs, guys, as I said in the previous video. So, uh, yeah, shall we do a part three? Obviously, as I said in my other two parts, I primarily listen to heavy rock, metal so uh, and indie. So, yeah, let's have a look at the, the last lot, shall we? Right, let's start with... Let's have a look. Uh, this one is Rainbow Remasters. The Rainbow Remasters. Absolutely fantastic band, uh, Rainbow. I Surrender is one of my all time favourites of theirs. And bloody tastic. And this is uh, literally got on there all night long. Eyes of the World. No Time to Lose. Since you can gone, oh, that is a song and a half, that one. Yeah. Love's My Friend, Danger Zone, Lost in Hollywood. Yeah. Absolutely blinding. Blinding CD. Brilliant. Fantastic way to start. Right, let's put that one down there. Next, we have an unusual one. Um, I loved this album when it came out. More on the indie side, of course. And it is a uh, Cooler Shaker. I really, really like this when it came out. Um, I'm probably one of the few people that still has a copy. <laughs> yeah, brilliant, brilliant album at the time. I was saying more indie than anything else. There we are. Yeah, and it is Cooler Shaker. How would you blink and pronounce that? I'm not even going to attempt it. There we are. That's Cooler Shaker, guys. Now, this is a. Oh, I love this band. I've seen them. They were fantastic live. Uh, as I said before about their uh, <laughs> their music, it kind of took a bit of a hit at one point and phew, became a bit more unpopular. Uh, they were absolutely at the top of their game uh, when this album was out. Yeah, and it's a Limp Biscuit, guys. And uh, what a fantastic uh, album this is. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Limp Biscuit. Absolutely blinding. I love the uh, the artwork on this album. It's stunning. There we are, that's back again. Really interesting album artwork. Uh, if I do believe inside, it's like that as well, as you can see. Yeah, fantastic album. Uh, as I say, when I saw them live, they were absolutely spot on. There was no difference at all and he even brought on a little you know Fred Durst brought on a little boy onto the stage with him and uh, yeah it was really fantastic it made that little boy's blinking life probably brilliant album Whee. then we have one that's a bit more um, pop rock uh, as I say I love all sorts of different types of music primarily metal yeah all that um, but I do like other bits and bobs as well. And I like what you would call soft rock as well. Uh, and this is Richard Marx, Rush Street. Love Richard Marx. I think he's fantastic. And I'll tell you what, he does some bloody fantastic bluesy type rock. As well as the, uh, the mainstream stuff he's had in the charts. Bloody fantastic guy. Yeah. This has got, uh, you know, some brilliant uh, songs on it. Calling You. Oh, I love that song. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Streets of Pain. Superstar. Yeah, fantastic. Hazard, of course. Wow. 
brilliant song has an absolutely brilliant yeah that is a fantastic album Richard Marx right then we have the Kings of Leon and this one is doo -doo -doo -doo. youth youth and young manhood <laughs> youth and young manhood I couldn't remember how it went but yeah youth and young manhood yeah that's it <laughs> couldn't remember the way it ran so I had to look it up but yeah fantastic I love the Kings of Leon they are brilliant 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 band there we are fantastic album and we have one that is absolutely hilarious um, on the video to one of their songs um, tribute um, you, uh, you've got Dave Grohl as the devil in the video it's, oh, it's just brilliant and it's at Tenacious D guys it's one of the funniest bloody albums ever it is hilarious it's got the rock bit to it but it's a complete and utter comedy album look at that Jack Black there of course, Jack Black is in Tenacious T. Yeah, it is hilarious. And there's some fantastic songs on here, so so bloody funny, they really are. I'm not even going to, uh, yeah, to read it because some of it's quite rude. But there we are, Tenacious T. If you ever want a bloody good laugh, yeah. All right, next, uh, dropping the insides of it is uh, the second Tenacious D album I've got and this is uh, Tenacious D The Pick of Destiny in Jack Black on the front there <laughs> oh let's give it a little bit of a tweak there so it focuses in a bit better there we are but yeah Pick of Destiny uh, again the brand new album from 15 songs blah blah, blah. but again bloody hilarious Worth a listen. Listen just for the bloody comedy of it. It's fantastic. And I love that picture on the front. <laughs> right, next we have... Drowning Pool, guys. Uh, Sinner. Again, Drowning Pool, fantastic band. Absolutely blinding band. There's the back. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant band. Can't remember if there's anything there, no, nothing particularly special inside of that one. But yeah, drowning pool. Blinding. Then we have Kings of Leon again, guys, because of the times. Again, fantastic album by a fantastic band. There we are. And next, oh, this, this, this album is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's uh, Papa Roach, guys, and it's uh, Infest. I love Papa Roach. Again, I've seen them and they were brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I love that album. I love the. Uh, I always love the artwork on their their albums as well. I mean, yeah, you get much more, uh, you know, roachy, could you? Well, right, next we have another fantastic one here, and this is actually, if I remember right, some kind of Gatefold limited edition thing. Oh yes, it is. Yeah, and this is my chemi my chemical romance, life on the murder scene. Look at the cover on that. And so this is a very interesting one because it's a uh, what you would call like a gatefold, I suppose. So there we are. It opens up like that to begin with. Well, look, you just go like that, can you? Hello. <laughs> and then opens that way. And opens that way. Oh, look at that, jeez. Yeah, it's got a DVD in here as well, guys. So, yeah, it's the right little nice collector's set. And uh, 
Got some bits and bobs shoved in there as well, he says, trying to get them out. Yeah, you got a little booklet there and what have you. And that, yeah, fantastic little, little collection, that. As I say, it's got the, uh, the DVD in there as well as the CD, he says, trying to get the stuff back into the sleeve. Oh yeah, fantastic one, that. Right, next. Next we have, again, one of the most fantastic bands. I loved this man when he was back in Nirvana. It's, of course, Foo Fighters and Dave Grohl. And uh, Foo Fighters in your honour. And this is a yeah, 21 songs on two CDs. <laughs> one loud, one not so loud. There we are, in your honour. Fantastic album. Brilliant. Yeah, I like the uh, CD uh, artwork with Buffalo on it. <laughs> yeah, fantastic group. Going on with fantastic groups, we have the Red Hot Chili Peppers, guys. And this is the one that I have to read it because I always get it wrong otherwise. It is Red Blood Hot Sugar Chili Sex Peppers Magic. That's the one. Oh, I love that cover. Absolutely love it. Doesn't it? Fantastic tattoo, that one. Brilliant cover. Yeah, there's the back. Of course, this is the one that has uh, Under the Bridge on it. Yeah, brilliant. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Right, next is this one. Try not to stick them all together. Uh, this is uh, Biffy. Is it? Cairo or Cairo, Biffy Cairo, whatever it is, you know, however you pronounce it. But yeah, again, um, I like their early stuff more than the more recent stuff, but it's a bloody good album. It's a puzzle. Biffy Cairo, or oh, whatever, you know what I mean. Cl Cairo, oh, I can never pronounce it right, never. But there we are, yeah, fantastic album, that one. Then we have uh, Karang 21 Killer Tracks uh, High Times, the soundtrack of Your Summer, To Your Summer. Uh, with a very Tony Hawk's looking uh, cover there. Yeah, there we go at the back. Let's have a look what's on here, shall we? So you have, uh, who have you got on? Let's pick some out here. The Vines, Soulfly. Ooh. Yeah, the Kennedy, the Kennedy soundtrack. Not heard of a lot of it actually. Um, oh, Bowling for Soup. Yeah, the Wild Hearts. Yeah, some of that. It's all right. Probably getting free on a thinking magazine at one time on Quran. I wouldn't be too surprised. Maybe not, maybe I'll buy it. Now here's a stunner guys. This band, everything they did all oh, was just stunning. And it was such a bloody tragedy when their uh, one of their members got shot um on the stage actually, dying bag. Oh Pantera guys. And this is yeah, the great southern, the great <laughs> southern tread kill. Yeah, with the rattlesnake on the front there, fantastic. Oh, I love bloody Pantera. They are amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, and there they are. Then something a bit more uh, poppy. Uh, this is Crowded House, guys, and this one is Woodface. Yeah, a bit more on the old uh, pop side. New Zealand's finest, of course. Crowded House, Woodface. Do you like myself a bit of Woodface? There's one uh, a bit of Woodface, a bit of Crowded House. This is one of my sister's all-time favourite bands, actually. Yeah, got some really weather with views on there and whatever. Yeah, brilliant. Now this one, this is from my absolute 
favourite TV show of all time? Well, <laughs> you'll get what I mean by there's two of them. Because, uh, yeah, it's uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. Now, I'm that sad bloke who even likes Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the original movie. I think that's fantastic because it came into its own when Sarah Michelle Gellar became Buffy and uh, did the series, guys. And this is the uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the album. Now, this has got some stunning tracks on it. Absolutely stunning tracks. Uh, it's got Nerf Herder, obviously, with a the theme. And you've got Garbage. Velvet Chain, Heat Burn, do you remember them? Her first slide, Biff Naked, Black Label, Casey's Choice, yeah. And then you've got The Sundays, Wild Horses, oh my god, the old Rolling Stones song, fantastic. Fantastic by the Rolling Stones, fantastic by Guns N' Roses, and absolutely awesome by The Sundays. Then you've got Splendid, this is a really unknown band that were around at the time. And the song called Charge. Oh my god, if you want to do yourself a favour, I'll listen to that song because it's awesome. And there's the back guys. Yep, love Buffy guys, love it. That's why I have a bloody tattoo on my back of it. Uh, yeah, we've got, <laughs> this is the one, I think I've showed this in one of my other videos because I've got this twice. It's a stained breaking the cycle. So yeah, you've probably seen this one already. There we are. <laughs> I won't talk too much about this. Now this one's a bit naughty really because this is uh, my son Lewis's really. I think he lent it to me like donkeys years ago and I've still got it because I forgot I had it. And he forgot that he lent it to me obviously and it's uh, Attack Attack guys. Another fantastic group seen them many times. They used to support a band which we no longer talk about. So I'm not even going to go there because of the uh, lead singer is now in prison for... 30 odd years, disgusting piece of uh, crap. But yeah, unfortunately, um, back then we thought he was still wonderful because they hadn't all come out. And uh, this group, Attack Attack, used to uh, support them a lot. There we are. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant band. Very unknown. Um, I don't even know if they're still together, to be honest. Yeah, fantastic. Right, here we have one that has a reprinted cover, yeah, reprinted cover, and it's Machine Head with Burn My Eyes. Won't really say too much about this because it's a reprinted cover, there's not even anything much to say, is there? No, brilliant band, fantastic, if you like the harder metal. Uh, here we go with an indie one, guys, it's in The Verve Urban Hymns, that's a classic, that. absolute classic. There we are. Oh, on the vein of India again with Oasis, definitely maybe. I mean, again, classic in it, hey, Oasis, come on. Definitely maybe. Brilliant. What a bloody awesome album. And Fallout Boy, guys, from Under the Cork Tree. This is the, uh, the alternative cover, I do believe. Um, because yeah, there was there was a completely different cover. So there's there's two different covers to this. This is one of them. Yeah, brilliant. I do like myself some early Fallout Boy. Now this is going back. Seen these many times as well. Uh, see if you remember them even. Terrorvision. Mm -hmm. This is how. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's another long one, guys. How to make friends and influence people. And this has got some stunning tracks on it, it really has. And one of my all time favourites on here, let's see if it is on this one, if it's on the other one. Oh no, some people say, some people say, awesome bloody song. Oh yeah. Alice, what's the matter? Another fantastic one. Yeah, this is a stunning bloody album, it really is. Now we have a compilation one, guys. This is, uh, you know, Haynes, the people who uh, used to make the uh, car manuals, still do make the car manuals. Um, yeah, they decided to make an album, strangely enough. I mean, they do other weird and wonderful things, don't they, as well? So, yeah, why is it a big surprise, really? But yeah, Haynes Rock. 
alternate guide to classic anthems and it's done like the owner's uh, workshop manual it even says owner's workshop manual there we go <laughs> it's obviously for putting in your car isn't it oh there's a lot of tracks on here and it opens up like that and it's three cds yeah so what have we got on there we've got some of the bands there like boston toto the journey alice cooper judas priest meat law survivor kansas motorhead scorpions oh they're all on here my next big preachers hula shaker funny enough uh what else uh the gun Patty Smith Group, Ted Nugent, oh yeah, there's loads on, The Birds, Fleetwood Mac, Santana, oh, Mop the Hoople, Electric Light Orcas, oh, there's some stunners on here, guys, stunners. Yeah, fantastic. So I'm in the car. Right, then we have uh, Nickelback, guys. Yeah, that Canadian bloody fantastic band. Oh, they've done some stunning songs, they really have. Yeah, Nickelback here and now. Hello, Chad. Then again, guys, an indie band. Uh, again, what a stunning album. Uh, one of my favourite songs by them is called Sing. Oh my God, do I love this band. Uh, Travis the Man Who. Driftwood is another stunner. When you want to just chill, guys, put Travis on and it will chill you right out. They are fantastic. They're Scottish, and uh, oh, I tell you what, Scotland's produced some fantastic bands. Um, one of my all-time favourites ever is a band that probably people little know about these days, um, called Altered Images. Um, back when I was, you know, 13, 14, I adored this bloody band. They did a song called Happy Birthday, which you might all know. Um, and yes, yeah, Scot Scottish again. Then there's another band that I absolutely adore, which is Goodbye Mr. McKenzie. Uh, when they split up, uh, the uh, Sh Shirley Manson left, obviously, and became uh, joined up with Garbage and became, yeah, became a member of Garbage. So, yes, yeah, Scotland's produced some fantastic bands. Big Country. Oh, I, I could go on and on, guys. Big Country were fantastic as well. Again, Stuart. Oh, dear, when he died. Yeah, some fantastic, fantastic bloody stuff. Wow. Come out of Scotland, Travis. Here we have a CD single, which has creeped in strangely. It's Behind Blue Eyes. What a stunning song. But I tell you what, the best version of Behind Blue Eyes, yeah. This is Limp Biscuit, the Who originally, obviously. But I tell you what, in an episode of Buffy, um, Giles, Anthony Stewart Head, he sings it. Oh my God. God has that man got a voice and that song is fantastic by him. Behind Blue Eyes, sung by Anthony Stewart Head. Wow, what a fantastic version. There's only a snippet of it, but it's brilliant. But yeah, this is Limp Biscuit's version, guys. Fantastic. Yeah, CD single creeps in there. Oh, look, talking about Scotland and the garbage and goodbye, Mr. McKenzie. Uh, here is Garbage version 2.0. Again, a fantastic, fantastic album. And it's got some greats on it, it really has. Oh yeah, it's got some fantastic ones on it. Dumb, Push It. Oh yeah, brilliant, brilliant album. Shirley Manson at her best. Back in a sec, guys. Right back with it, guys. Um, yeah, one of the children was coming down the stairs and was gonna make a big fat noise. <laughs> anyway, next one, guys, is again a rainbow one, but this is uh, since you've been gone the best of rainbow. As I said, since you've been gone, it's my favourite one by them. But they've done some stunning bloody stuff, rainbow. Absolute rock at its bloody best, guys. Classic rock at its best. Fantastic. And of course, with the you know deep purple connections. Oh, uh, yeah. Since you've been gone all night long. Oh, Stargazer. Mm. Kill the King, Man on the Silver Mountain, and then this one here, guys, if you've ever heard Kits of Babylon, oh my God, it blows you away. If you like rock, that one, oh, it just gives you flipping goosebumps. Lost in Hollywood, Spotlight Kid, Can't Happen Here, I Surrender. Oh. 
uh, Streets of Dreams, Black Sheep of the Family, Stone Cold, Eyes of the World, Long Live Rock and Roll. All their best ones are on here, guys, every single one of them. What a fantastic album. Certainly is the best of, that's for sure. Right, next, guys, we've got Stereophonics. Uh, language, Sex, Violence, Other? Question mark. Hmm. I, love, I love Stereophonics, they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, next we have a feeder again, guys. Uh, you might have seen quite a few of the feeder ones in the uh, earlier videos. Uh, this is Fido Echo, Feeder Echo Park. Again, fantastic uh, band. Can be quite heavy, can be quite poppy. You know, they're a bit of everything now, really. Brilliant album. We're a big crack. Right, next is a way bit stuck just then. Uh, this is again, oh what a doozy of an album. I'm so pleased I managed to pick this one up. Um, it's got some of the bloody best ever on it. Oh my god, if you like heavy, heavy metal. Oh, is this an album and a half, guys? It's Legends of Metal. Look at that bloody cover already. Wow, let's give it a little bit of a tweak there, see if it goes in a bit more. Yeah, that is awesome bloody album you've got some of the you know hard rock ones on here of, of all time the best of all time you've got slipknot trivium pantera disturbed oh machine head lambs of god kill switch engage mm, i love them um avenge sevenfold mortarhead sepultura oh, if you like your more extreme metal wow this is a flipping album to have guys what an album to have there we are it's got all the best on there it really really has wow and there's the inside guys looks double album and uh, yeah it's got all the track listings in the back as well when you take the cd out right. that is a stunner of an album stunning and the last one guys the very last one, I have got more, they're all in the car and I still haven't dug them out, so there might be a part four coming to this at some point. Um, this one is Systems of a Down, guys. Oh, Again, I love them. Absolutely love System of a Down. And uh, this one is just System of a Down. System of a Down. System of a Down. There we are. Brilliant. And there's the back, which looks like it has... Hmm, something very odd on the back there, not too sure what that is. Yeah, yeah, brilliant album, guys, again. Yeah, that's what it looks like inside, quite interesting, really. Hmm. And there we go, guys, the last one. There we are, guys, the uh, promised part three of my CD collection. And there may be a part four coming. You never know if I can get my lazy ass into gear and just get them out of the car. So there we go guys, uh, again on a different vein from the usual uh, video games, but it's nice to do this isn't it? And I did promise I would do this third part, so I hope you're still enjoying my content even though I'm diverting off and doing CDs. If you are, please like, comment, subscribe and tap that bell icon to be, up and, uh, to be informed of any upcoming videos that I may do, like later on when I do my next play on. There you go guys, with that I'm going to say off videos in, tschüss, goodbye. Listen, all of you, please, still take care of yourselves. I know the death toll has just been released for how many people have died in our country alone, here in the UK alone, and it's now getting close towards 30,000 people, guys. Please, please do everything you're told. Behave yourselves, and we'll get through this, guys, I promise you. Please just take care of yourselves. And with that very down note suddenly, I'm going to say goodbye, guys. Bye-bye.